Another one from France. It's called Them. And this was directed by David Moreau and Xavier Pollard. And stars Olivia Bonamy, who plays the, the lead, and Michael Cohen. Mm-hmm. I guess yeah. those are the only two people that are really in the film for any period of time. It's true, yeah. Uh, this movie, like we were saying yesterday, we were talking about this movie a little bit. It's going to be a little bit hard to explain what all is going on because there's really, while the movie is subtitled, there's really not a whole lot of dialogue throughout most of the movie. I mean, my, it's a, uh, the best way to explain this movie really is, it starts as like a home invasion movie mm-hmm. where the, the the invaders pretty much are just shadows throughout most of the movie. You don't really see them that much. And this couple are living in like the French uh, mountain area, wilderness area. And they have a bizarre looking house that like a lot of it, like they have rooms that are actually outside and look overgrown and stuff like that. It has a weird atmosphere to it. I'll say that wherever they found the shooting locations and stuff, and it had a pretty weird looking house. I'll just say a group actually invades the house, terrifies them. It actually leads to uh, just an underground area, a cave area, sort of like the descent. And it's just a stalk and chase movie throughout. The movie's really short. It's only 77 minutes, and that's with all the credits and stuff as well. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's a pretty creepy movie. Uh, it, it has uh, a pretty cool twist ending that probably saved the movie, for me at least. I mean, I thought it was a pretty decent movie, but uh, the, the twist actually made it a little better. Yeah, it's what I like to call a setup movie because the, the there's no real plot going on in the beginning of it. It's just a setup for what's going to happen, you know, to try to scare the crap out of you toward the end. And there is like an opening scene where a, a family is murdered in a car. That's kind of like the the prelude to what's going to happen, you know, what's coming up. So you kind of know that there's definitely people going around, you know, murdering people in this area. And then you've got these two people. I think one of them's a school teacher and the other one, I'm not sure exactly what the hell he does. Rider, I think. Yeah, they're basically just around this house. And all of a sudden, they start getting a bunch of prank phone calls and stuff. So it's just a, a setup for them to be terrorized by this group. And you're not ever really sure if they're supernatural or if they're just people or what is, you know, what's going on. And it echoes the strangers, or the strangers echoes it in the fact that you never really uh, are sure what it is until the very end. And even in the strangers, you're never really sure what the hell it is to the very end, to be honest. I mean, in this one, you're more, it's a more concrete yeah. ending anyway. Yeah, this is a movie that was filmed in france back in 2006 and it's just now finding its way uh well thanks to the new wave of french horror cinema or whatever's going on right now you know it had to get a release but it's definitely along the same lines of stuff like frontiers i mean it's got that same type of atmosphere to it i think for sure um but the dvd while we didn't receive like the finished product it's it's mainly a you know promotional screener uh, the special features on the disc include The Making of Them, composer Rene Marc Benny featurette, tor- The Torture of Clementine featurette, trailers, English subtitles, and it is in French, so you have to read the movie, which a lot of people don't like to do. But uh, I liked the movie. I thought it was a pretty interesting movie. I liked the fact that it wasn't too long either. That, mm-hmm. uh you know, the more of these movies I watch, the more I love the ones that are like 70-some to 90 minutes. <laughs> well, when yeah. the ending comes, though, I mean, it really comes. It's just real quick, and it's got a lot of impact to it. But Yeah, there's a lot of hints at the ending. Uh, you got a, a lot of quick shots of the... Because there are a few assailants that actually do get killed in this, I think. And you have quick shots of their face. And once, you know, we're delivered the twist ending... It's it's a lot cooler, you know, than I thought it would be. But I'll tell you this though, I really thought these guys, the directors behind this film, really saved the movie The Eye, because they're the guys that are responsible for the the directors of The Eye and stuff. I just watched that one recently too, and had it not been for them, that movie would have sucked because it was basically the same. They used the same techniques they used in this movie to just scare the crap out of you in that movie, so it works out really well. I would recommend it actually. Yeah, so that's from Dark Sky Films. DarkSkyFilms.com uh, came out actually back in March, but uh, we're just now getting it. So that's them. Give us the thumbs up. Up you butt. Like, subscribe, 
And if you subscribe, here's something else you can do. Once you subscribe, you can click the bell notification, right? And it'll notify you anytime that Dead Pit puts up new shit. Or don't. I really don't give a if you do. Or I don't. want you to. I want you to. <laughs> I don't let's, care. let's keep our community growing here on I, YouTube. I don't, I don't like it. I don't want you to do nothing. Listen, they need to do that, pal. No, don't you dare yeah. touch it. Thumbs up. Subscribe. And click that bell. Thank you to all of our supporters on Patreon. Dead Pit on Patreon.com is the only place to check out a complete archive of the old Dead Pit radio shows all the way back from 2005 on, in addition to the midweek shows and fan commentaries, exclusive podcasts, and much more. Dead Pit on Patreon.com if you're interested. Tears start at only $1.